Hello everyone and welcome to Medieval Engineer. Uh, today we are pleased to release a new map, which is actually an unofficial Castle Siege map. To be more clear about that, we've been making it using exactly the Castle Siege philosophy. It has a king statue and everything you'll find for Castle Siege, but it has not been built using the Castle Siege base map. So um, in this sense, uh, it's not technically a Castle Siege map using the engine of Castle Siege. We made it this way because we'd like to be a bit free of the limitation of the current Castle Siege. And we made it uh, as a sort of historical uh, challenge or experiment, let's say, taking in consideration one funny thing. Uh, indeed, uh, our idea has been to build a fortress from the 10th uh, century. And according to historian, uh, during this century, uh, most of the castles you'd be able to find in Europe and around were wood-made. They were not featuring dungeons in stone and so on, and, and all the fortification in stone and dungeon in stone and castle. Stone-made uh, seemed to appear uh, during the 11th, the 12th and the 13th century, uh, but not really before. During the 10th uh, century, uh, normally, uh, most of the fortresses are wood-made. So we've been doing a castle and a fortress that is actually totally made of wood. It's not using any piece of stone from foundation to roof. Everything has been built directly on the soil. Uh, so the idea will be like to check uh, the resistance of uh, such a castle in front of stone catapult and angry attackers. The funny thing on top of all this is that catapult has been invented 400 years before GC. So if we rely on history and what teaches us history actually, for about 1,400 years, uh, castles and fortresses were made of wood and had to face catapults with stone. So it's sort of funny, it was sort of funny for us to be able to, to check how uh, such a castle can resist catapults and, 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 and uh, attackers being made only of wood. So we create castle wood, it features total structural integrity, uh, but it has a very special particularity, it's totally wood made. Uh, we've been putting like a bunch of spawn points, see for the castle siege, but uh, without actually that it will be of any use because uh, once releasing this map today, we will probably just release it as a normal map. Uh, we won't take the risk to try to release it at Steam as Castle Siege if it's not complying the rules, right? So we kind of hope that you'll find rules uh, uh, to comply the, this um, Castle Siege philosophy uh, using a normal multiplayer mode and avoiding to fly, for example, uh, and to throw out stone <laughs> manually from the sky. Because at the 10th century, the flying soldiers are pretty rare, as it should be the case uh, nowadays anyway, but uh, see what I mean. So we have big moats uh, all around this castle, and only one bridge is actually the, the only single access for a human to, to pass easily into this fortress. So if you attack this castle from far away, you may want to make sure not to break this bridge because else you'll have to cover the moat with tons of things and pieces of wood and barrels and stuff to go over it uh, and step over it. So probably the first challenge should be uh, to lower down the defense to be able to get closer but without uh, destroying this bridge. It's not a drawbridge, uh, again complying to what history teaches to us. A drawbridge start to appear in the history of architecture and fortification around the 13th and 14th century. Before that, uh, forts and fortresses were using big doors and big entrance doors and stuff like this, but drawbridge are, are pretty uh, recent in the history of Middle Age, uh, to say it this way. Here we have like a big fort at the entrance, uh, totally made of wood. Uh, many towers all around this fort like to cover any possibility of attacks from any fields around. Uh, but we took a particular care of this 
Mendor as it's the one that stands near the only bridge, right? Uh, it features a double defense system. Uh, the first one is using ROP and mechanical system to be open and close, and the second one is more of a normal door. Uh, I'm going to show you right now. Uh, most of the mechanical systems in this fortress have been tested over uh, 20 times, so I kind of hope you won't have problem using them. Uh, normally, uh, it shouldn't be the case unless uh, next update <laughs> create a surprise. Uh, if you are using medieval engineers for weeks, <laughs> you know what I mean. But uh, it shouldn't be the case. I'm just like, you know, it's normal with an alpha version. Uh, everything is great. This game is great. Um, really, uh, we, we, it's a lot of fun to to follow up the update and it has been so far uh, one of the best game uh, ever for me. Uh, we have made a rope system here because uh, attackers uh, are able to push, to run and push over doors of 600 kilos. <laughs> so with rope system, uh, attackers and defenders are pretty strong in medieval engineers. So. With such system, we avoid the door to just be pushed by uh, by a running, a crazy running attackers, like you know, getting close. Here is our second door, so to be pushed properly, uh, to be aligned. So you have need to align properly both sides, push them properly, not in fly mode again. Is you you may realize that if you like to be efficient when pushing things in medieval engineer, you don't want to be in fly mode. When you test over your doors and when you build, like please disable the fly mode because you, you may you may find that it's not working. Uh, well, it's working actually. Uh, we have made some lockers for each doors. Uh, we had fun to to try to play around the idea to have lockers. Uh, they are being tied um, with rope to avoid them to open and close each time we manipulate the door. Uh, and then uh, once you untie this rope you, with shift T, you may close properly your door and it's T to open. Yes. And shift T to close. And now it's totally secure. See, we had like uh, to do like a sort of a T at the end of this piece of wood for it to work properly. Else, while pushing, it was opening again. Uh, we have another rub system here, like as a double security to make sure that uh, the door is more secure this way, e even though the locker is working. This is uh, an additional security at no cost. Two sets of them at the bottom in the middle and now our door is totally secure and our first defense system is ready to wait for attackers challenging our caster. Uh, I want to show you the inside of the little wood fort uh, here. Uh, it has many point of view on the main field which we assume is the field where most attackers should come if they'd like to have a chance to enter rapidly the caster, right? Due to this mode and then in each elevate area or towers, you will find a big box packed of middle stone. A uh, big stone we didn't put, so they, they are probably too dangerous to handle. If you take them out of the chest and then uh, you drop them by accident on wood floor, it's sometimes creating <laughs> a bit of collateral damage that you want to avoid, right? Uh, in stone, it's always doing it. So you're already doing it. So imagine in, in wood, like you... You drop a big stone from your hand, going too fast, manipulating it, and then you, you break the floor. So here is our first, uh, our mini catapult. We built them especially for this fort. We didn't want to have big engine and so. Uh, but like uh, a bunch of catapult covering the, the main fields. Uh, they are rotating in about 90 to 80 to 90 degrees angles. Uh, the big advantage of it, if the attackers will take away, uh, will take over the first level of our fortress, they cannot rotate uh, the catapult against the castle, which is good, right? <laughs> you never know. <laughs> and um, you'll be surprised by uh, how far they can shoot. 
Uh, big stone, uh, not so, probably 200 meters. Uh, 50 to 200, I would say, depending on the way you tense the, 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 the rope, which is pretty good when attackers get close with engine and so, pretty efficient. Uh, and small stone, you may put like up to three of them, and then yes, you, you'll, you'll find that they go pretty far away. You, you'll have to set properly the tension of your catapult to make it more precise. Nearby each catapult, we have like two chests of small stone, middle stone, and one of big ones. We didn't put projectile, just like the more like uh, something really root, you know, like uh, we, we wanted to have like uh, stone is fine. So it's what you will find as different system. But you will find boxes of small stone everywhere in this in each tower. And nearby each catapult, three big boxes to play with. Here is, see? When it's tied with the rope, uh, you go, it, it's going f more far, right? If you don't use the rope, it will shoot anyway, but probably be le a bit less precise and it will go like, uh, uh, it will not go so far away, right? So far. So if you like to shoot, you, you big stones, I, I recommend you use the rope. Uh, so here is our small catapult. We've been putting uh, five of them all around the castle. Two of them are to cover the main field. Again, this field we assume that should be the most interesting one to challenge for attackers. And uh, here is the second one. You see with the 90 degrees, both of them like cover a large angle on this field. The other one is at the end. And about moat, yes, I'd like to tell you that during the 13th and 14th century now, attackers start to get used to front to face such different systems. So uh, they made like a couple of uh, attack engines. They are not really engines. I mean, they are like more simple than that. They are being made of uh, boiled leather. They name it this way, this cooked leather they cook to make it more hard and more difficult to penetrate it's really really tough if you put like uh, uh, two different layers of this a uh, non arrow uh, even with a long bow we will be able uh, to penetrate uh, this particular leather it's really really strong so they were making like some structure with it that could be carried by two or three men uh, they can get close to the wall with that and especially close to the moat and then threw out uh, in the moat like tons of things until it's covering it totally so they can pass over it. And then after they'll use the same engine to get close to the wall and try to attack the wall directly, you know, and uh, the dispositive was named CAT in French is chat. Uh, I'll try to find some picture uh, some of them were pretty big to be handled by to be handled by four to to six men carrying it. They could have wheels, but not always. And some of them are really small. They are looking like bells, uh, and uh, two men uh, can carry it. And then they are totally undercover. And even a stone uh, launch uh, from the wall can bounce on this particular leather. So it's really really strong. Uh, so the, the, that's the way the men adapt to defense mechanism over the years, right, over the time. And, and then uh, the mode that were probably a big, big handicap, big, big defense mechanism uh, over time start to be like challenged by other attack system. Here is the only six pillars of stone we've been using for this fortress. Uh, Aside from the s boxes and, and the chests uh, packed of stones, uh, the only construction, uh, the only stones we've been using are here uh, to be used at the tavern fire to make sure that the pork and the meat and all the awesome uh, cooking from the Middle Age is coming with flavor. But you will not find any other piece of stone in this castle. Here is our second 
big defense system near the castle lord so we get in the upper level and the heart of the castle where stands the lords and uh, the knights and all the nobles and uh, here we had like to make another big defense system to be challenged for when the attackers will take over at the first level right uh, and all the peasants and people will try to refugee uh, down this wall and save their life so a double system but the door is different and the locker is a bit different and the design as well is different to have fun and and bring something like a bit different we have two towers uh, one on each side of this big door uh, the access on the upper level and the door mechanism has to be done from uh, the upper part so you can access it from the stairs that you see actually the wood stairs that you see at the right or from inside each tower climbing simply the stairs right so let me show you the first the middle level here at the second level we access the back of the door uh, we made this like in case they destroy the first door attackers will destroy this first door with wheels that like, it's on rails so it doesn't need any ropes it's pretty strong one but uh, if or when they destroy it uh, and they like to destroy the second one and then we'd like to have a window or something to try to shoot them uh, from this uh, location right uh, so that, that explained to you this sort of windows of and this access the interest to have an access at this level right now we go to the upper level one stairs more our sh chests see we have absolutely everywhere these chests with stones and here is the mechanism for our door so this one to be been tested over many times sometimes we notice if you go down like uh, very strongly you may break like one or two little pieces of food uh, at the bottom of the door you never break the whole door but you can like have like one pieces or two but if you do it with caution uh, meaning like in two to three different time you know you you, you will not have problem I see from here you can check if the door is properly closed and then we're gonna check that and close the other additional door here we go see nothing is broken totally secure and on his rail so this should make it pretty challenging uh, we assume that at this level they won't have catapult and so if they pass over the first defense you never know how a siege happened right so in any case we have our second door so as the first one you need to close properly the first part the first side and then the other side as well and then as for the locker you have a rop mechanism here same to avoid it to open and close each time we open the door and then here we untie the rope and then shift t see it's a bit different than the first one but the same principles and now it's closed and secure been testing it like you know you close it and you push over it sometimes when you open and close very rapidly as it, you, you need to re-push a bit the door to make sure it being closed and then here as well we have a rope system at the bottom to secure it strongly here we go with our second big big door closed down and ready for challenging an attack on this level I want to show you a uh, funny trap I've been working on uh, to be used by two different people one to activate it and the other one to alert the, to tell the one that activated when it's good time to do so 
many system on fortification or like this right you the, the guy that activate and untie this rope it's a it's a stone trap has no visibility so he needs to have a, a friend or someone telling him uh, when it's good time to do so because again fly mode is not authorized normally in such map right <laughs> if you want to make it a bit realistic so i'm just trying to show you because i'm alone to do this demonstration but uh, all these system fortification system are like this you know yeah it's like boiled oils and all stuff they throw out uh, normally they have someone like uh, telling them when it's good time to do so right so it's not totally out of logic and and it's pretty realistic to have it this way i uh, didn't want to have like such a complex system that uh, you can see and use it at the same time uh, it will come with collateral damage this is inevitable when you build like so uh, so, so strong trap uh, near houses and walls you cannot control that the stone will go absolutely uh, on the uh, on the follow the path you like so collateral are inevitable uh, i'd like to remind you that during like uh, castle uh, siege during middle age uh, sometime they were uh, having to take away uh, or take over uh, house and to break them uh, by pieces so they can launch uh, and shoot on attackers and absolutely everything they had handy so you mean like roof uh, pieces of stones uh, furniture barrels everything they could throw out to save their life from the walls and and shoot the attackers they were using so uh, such a trap uh, that will throw like probably 50 stones at the same time uh, in case of emergency you you can afford to have like, a few walls around broken it's part of the normal collateral damage that uh, you can accept uh, you can easily accept during a, a heavy siege here we go releasing it finally and see imagine like 50 attackers if it's being activated at the good time and uh, when they are like a bit before the tower i think that uh, it can do like some pretty big damages to them so it works to have a roof broken each time i test it it's breaking a different one you know once is the tower on the left that take uh, takes takes away one wall of the towers on the left uh, maybe the roof on the uh, houses on the right i mean normal collateral damage uh, as i say like uh, if you are like fighting for surviving and attackers are always having taking the rest of the fortress then you really want to kill all of them and and, and set yourself free right <laughs> so you can afford to lose one or two walls okay so now we are done with our stone trap and then we have uh, a last uh, defense mechanism uh, to show you uh, which is actually uh, near the king statue because as we say uh, we've been making uh, this map technically as a normal castle siege so it features a king statue to be taken um, so it's actually inside of course the lord castle totally made of wood as well pretty working pretty well the, the structural integrity won't cause any problem uh, and i have some pretty high towers and it was pretty working pretty well here is my last defense system in the near the statue of the king of the of the lord this room has actually two entrances so i needed to secure it and i've been making two doors uh, coming with rope as well like uh, opening and closing as as long as you like it working is pretty steady it's 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 working fine and then uh, both of them are coming with rope as well uh, to be secured and then i like to imagine here like see i put a blue flag like for the attack the defenders to respawn but i'm not sure it will work um, and i like here to imagine our last defenders trying to take their last chance to avoid uh, our angry barbarians and attackers and invaders to take over 
the king statue. So this is the room they should look into when any hope has been left on the side and only one hope is left to save the king statue. Uh, so here we go with our third defense mechanism um, and a room again made of wood. We kind of hope that uh, attackers won't try to destroy the king statue from far away else we will have to put it a bit more underneath the ground level, right? But we've been reinforcing uh, pretty well this room. We have some big terraces out outside that are actually uh, uh, being used so that you can have a walk on them. But uh, it's always also good because they have uh, they offer some reinforcement to this room, right? And uh, all the towers around and the walls in wood, and so we can hope that this should like. Uh, lower down the risk of the king statue to be destroyed from outside. We had also our catapults that we hope that you can use them as uh, defenders to destroy any engine getting closer. And of course, aside from cool crash test and other any other um, destroy experiment you'd like to do uh, on this castle, uh, and talking about more like, uh, let's say, multiplayer mode, uh, well, I hope that attackers will not try to uh, just to blow uh, the king statue from far away with their catapult, but uh, would like to enter and come and take over this castle the real way. I mean, come on, let's be warrior. I don't think like any soldier or any uh, army will have been happy during middle age by just like blowing uh, a king statue from far away with catapult no uh, any decent uh, warrior would like to take over the castle by entering totally with his army inside the wall and and then like taking over the uh, lord castle that that's obvious to me so come on if you go multiplayer <laughs> try to get closer don't just like be happy by throwing out like uh, your stone from far away. Come, come over, <laughs> don't be shy. So here we go. I hope you like this map. I hope you like this video. Uh, and moreover, I hope you test this map multiplayer and tell me how wood may resist to stone. As again, it's a sort of historical experiment, like for 1,400 years, remember. Castle were in wood and, and catapult in stones were trying to challenge it. So let's see how uh, this applies using the medieval engineer engine to have fun with and to try to comply and verify this historical fact. Have a very nice day. Thanks a lot for watching and uh, any comments, like, subscription, welcome and have fun.